Hey -o. I'm back here again in the world of snow running. There's still an embarrassingly lack of snow. Hmm. Oh well. Well, for today, we are doing some more scouting around. I remember last time we had tried to get over to a watchtower over there. Find out that the river there is, well, way too freaking deep. I still cannot ever find the right place. There we go. Now, if memory serves, we're pretty much damn near out of gas. So we need to try to get this done quickly so we can find a gas station. <sighs> but. This one. Okay. Whatever. Anyways, I'm actually running quite behind the schedule to get these things done right now. So, so I'm doing this. I'm recording this episode right now, 11 hours before it releases. So, yeah, that's fun. I've had quite a while to get it done, but I've been dealing with quite a lot recently, so I just haven't bitched recording like I was supposed to be. Let's see, I did see this road right here. I want to try to get on and see if it'll get me over there. But, yeah, the personal life has been a little bit hectic. Still trying to deal with a lot of emotions, really. Definitely need the right emotions, anyways. It's weird. I'm trying to figure it out. But, you don't want to know about all that shit. What you want to know about is my work life. Oh, did it get interesting. Yeah, I kid you guys not. I was at work one day. Well, at work most of the days. I'll butt one day. Ugh. Anyway. It was getting late in the day. We had like an hour left before we were supposed to be closing. And all the kids had gone home, of course. And my boss needed help up front. So I had gone up there and I was on the headset, taking orders, taking the money, and handing the food out the window. She was trying to get the system ready to get closed down and get the drawers counted. So I was walk over and bag up the food every now and then, run the flies. I was pretty much running the entire farm mostly by myself. I had a little help here and there, but mostly it was me. I'm sitting there at the window. I just handed out some food, was getting ready to open the window and take the money for the next order. But suddenly I start hearing something bang. I look over and my boss came running up to me and said, They're fighting! They're fighting! I was like, wait, what? I seriously had no idea what she was talking about at first. It took me a second. To realize that the idiots in the kitchen started literally beating the shit out of each other. And when I say beating the shit out of each other, I mean we had to clean up the freaking blood after that one. Really fucking stupid. Trust me. Why can I not hook to that pole? That is in the green. Uh, this way. There. Now, give me the pole. But, yeah, they started going at it. And she came over, didn't know what to do at the moment because, you know, she's this little thing. I swear she can't weigh more than 140 pounds soaking wet holding a cinder block like a little thing so she came over and she didn't know what else to do she told me this whole thing afterwards she didn't know what else to do than get me to stop it so she came over told me they're fighting they're fighting and I looked over and I seen the one guy get between the slushy machine and the ice cream machine and looked like he was picking at something. 
that's when it clicked in my head what was going on. Keep in mind, this was one of the days where I had woken up at 9 o'clock in the morning, and it was currently like 10.30 at night, so. I wasn't all there at the moment. Just getting tired and dealing with all this stuff up front. Yeah. And once I figured out what it was that was actually happening, why did that break? That was not supposed to break. I'm telling you, there's going to be another one of these. I don't have shit to go to. If it wasn't for this trailer, I bet I wouldn't be. No, it's actually a pretty bad one. I think if I drop the trailer now, though, I might be able to do this. Yeah, there we are. And I'll pull it through. Put your drag back down. You know, one of the two. I guess I could do it there. Doing me no good up here, no how. That I ran over, and the time I had gotten there, the one guy was had uh, taken the Sunday cone holder and hit the other guy in the head with it, which is where the blood came from. Because we didn't find this out till later, but apparently the the guy that got hit with the Sunday cone holder was uh, drinking. Yeah, he was quite drunk, so. The only thing about alcohol, it's a great blood thing. Which is not good when you're bleeding, because then your blood don't clot properly, and, well, you're a fucking fire hose at that point. Not quite that sober, but. More like a faucet, but. There we go. Got it. Now, gas station. No. Where M button is, so I can see. Gas station. No gas station. Well, shit. Something out here, but that definitely is not a gas station. There's a ship for some reason. Cool. That's gonna be helpful. Mud wrestling, some kind of. Oh, that's my trailer, never mind. Let's see. Yeah, there's an upgrade up there, though. One of the things we're looking for, but still without the gas station, is quite troublesome. Okay. For now, we're going to do. Let's head back down. Try to get up here and down this way. And try to get over here. But, so I ran around the corner to where they were. The one guy that was bleeding after getting hit with that thing was down on the ground, and the other guy standing above him looked like he was about to stuff a mud hole in his ass. So I did the one thing I could think of moment, which was put down the guy standing. Freaking, I had to send that guy at least six feet. The boss showed me the surveillance camera afterwards of what happened, and I apparently bounced off of everything in the damn kitchen. I get, you know, I hit the fridge, well, both fridges, the grill, the bread rack, I hit everything. <laughs> Boss said I bounced off that shit like a damn rag doll. I saw it. Oh, I definitely felt it the next day. I'll tell you that much. I actually started to feel it that same night a little bit, but the journal and everything going on. I didn't feel it at first, but after everything had settled, 
had started to feel it. I knew in the morning I was going to be feeling stiff. But, yeah, I ran around that corner and saw him standing up. I just threw myself at him, took him down with me, and just held him down until he calmed down. The other guy apparently ran out of the building, got in his car, and drove to the hospital. Which makes sense, because, like I said, he had been drinking at the time, and was quite bloody. So much so that apparently somehow it had gotten on my face. I'm not sure how that one occurred. But it gotten on me, and I hadn't even noticed it at first till my boss had said something, because after I took him down, held him till he calmed down, I just let him go, we both stood up. Boss looked at me, he's like, what do we do? Which was the funniest part of this whole thing was that my nightmare at the time didn't know what to do. So, I'm in damage control mode at the moment. Got two employees fighting, one's ran off. Me and the other guy are covered in blood, and there's blood all over the kitchen, so obviously we're done. We're not selling shit. You know, that's food safety hazard right there. We can't sell it with blood in the kitchen, you know. We had already had a couple orders in, I know of, but they were just going to have to leave. They weren't getting any food. She was looking at me like, what do we do? And I was like, call the GM, store manager, whoever, get the cops down here, and shut the store down. We're done. She had apparently already called the GM and somebody else called the cops. They came down and got all of our statements. Found the guy at the hospital. Makes it even funnier is the fact that since he had apparently started the whole thing and... Okay, stop doing that. Don't, don't, just don't do whatever that was. Anyways, um, and he had drove to the hospital, so on top of the whole fighting thing, and he got a DUI on top of that, which I found funny as hell. When the cops first walked in, I know the boss had said something about there being blood in my face, but... I hadn't really registered the fact that there was blood on my face when the cops walked in. I'm standing in the lobby, you know, just trying to get my nerves back in order. They walk in and look at me and it's like, were you involved? It's like, yeah, I, I put it into it. And so they asked him if I was okay, is it my blood? It's like, no, I don't think so. They looked at me for a minute and made sure I was okay and it wasn't mine. I got it cleaned off finally. <sighs> it was a whole ordeal that night. I ended up being late that night too because you know, I had to clean all that up. pissed off dad because my phone had died and I didn't have the charger with me so I couldn't even let him know I was going to be late or what was going on. I had to explain to him why I was an hour late getting home. Made any better is the guy that I tackled was the real closer so the boss didn't want him to be at the store at the moment so she got him out of there, and I ended up having to close the grill, clean up the blood all over everything, and then get the regular cleaning done, and then close my dishes. The uh, 
other two people that were on front line with me at the moment were miners, which is why they weren't that much help at the time. So with everything going on, they had to, you know, leave. They couldn't be there. So the boss was trying to get all the paperwork and drawers counted and all that shit done. Well, I'm trying to get the grill and my dishes done. And then me and her had to finish closing the fun area in stock and all that done. Say me and her were so fed up with it, she didn't want to really deal with it, and I said, hey, it's up to you. Trust me, it's worked a lot worse than what we left in that thing. We definitely didn't do as much as we normally would have done, but everything that night, her nerves were wrecked. My back was starting to kill me a little bit, so we just called it a day. She wouldn't let me walk to work the next day either. I had to get a ride in because after that there was no reason I should have to walk to work the next day. I know some people say I should have filed a grievance or gotten the authority involved for unsafe work environment or some bullshit and tried to make money out of it. That's just fucking great. Um, I didn't see a job to get that done. Well, son of a bitch. Um, get this whole job done. the hell I'm going to get to just do this. This freaking thing be able to turn like a regular truck would be awesome. That was the biggest thing that's happened since my last episode I recorded. I know the last couple episodes was me bitching about work actually. Kids and how shit gets done or, or how it don't get done. Didn't have that happen, which is quite the coincidence. We pretty well got past it. It took me a day or two to get over my back killing me and being stiff. And I was fine again. Which is part of where my emotions started was actually with that day because it reminded me of something I didn't want to really remember. I've been trying to kind of work through that issue and trying to find ways to uh, get around it, deal with it, make sure which I'm able to do yet. I'm working on it. But that's more of the reason why this episode is being recorded so close to when I'm supposed to be getting it out. This ain't been peeling right. But again, that's something for me to deal with. Eh, shit, I'm on the wrong road, ain't I? Yeah, I was supposed to take the other road. Damn it. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and grab this mission while we're here. What is this for? Stop doing that. They seen you trust somebody and lose cargo and they make a fire. I'm not saying that somebody might go complete us, but I'm not saying it's not. You find the lost cargo. Yeah, we'll find some lost cargo later. Okay. 
now I need to get to that other road. I'm hoping those gas cans on my roof have gas. I'm going to need them here in a second. What are the chances of me being able to go? I doubt this is a good idea. I highly doubt this is going to work out. Every time I try doing this, bad things happen. Mainly right now, the fact that That's about what I expected. So, what's the problem? The trailer's the problem. The damn thing slid down and is currently stuck on the tree. I get it. Every time that happens. Okay. Come on. Off the tree. No, don't do that. Come on, I know you're running out of gas. Get up here at least. Or you can just be a cunt about it. That works too. Alright, do I have gas in that thing or not? Oh, actually, I still got gas in the can. Okay, there we go. Now the cistern is out of gas. I think those cans being on the roof indicate that there is gas in them, otherwise I don't think they would actually still be there. I think that's how this works. So those two cans up there are all I got for gas at the current moment. How much is actually there, I don't know. If there's a gas station on this fucking map, I don't know. I keep hoping there is, but so far, no. No, no, no. It's a whole nother problem. Apparently along with the idea that I need a fucking bridge. I have two places that are demanding a bridge. No connection for a fucking bridge. This is not going to go well. Grabbing, same stupid point, looking somewhere over here. There you go. That's the point I wanted. I'm trying to go around that because I know I'm going to get stuck in that one thing. If I could hit the right foot one damn time, it would be great. Got that taken care of. Now, where the hell is it? I'm actually going to go Yeah, well, let's get to here and see what's what. Because I'm not seeing an actual road here. So, my full intentions of why I'm over here, I don't have to know. Hopefully, I'll find something. If not, well, then this has been a waste of gas. Seeing as how I don't actually pay for gas in this game, that does not too I could have if I kept the difficulty, but 
sim fact I'm more doing this for the actual physics of going through the mud and everything. Yeah. I'm trying to be more of a relaxed player at the moment. It's not that big a deal. I get that bleach done. We have to get those guys some watch stars. Is this the other watch star? Did I ever get to this one? No, I did not. That's why I came over here. Okay. I can get it. Not quite sure what's up with this whole thing, but it's kind of cool, I guess. Alright, let's get back over to that other watch star up there. Then we'll cut for today's episode. Probably the only one I'm going to get done right now is I'm actually supposed to be asleep, but I had tried to get this episode recorded yesterday, but when I went to do so, I found out my headphones were dead. I had to get them charged. Honestly, I don't remember much after plugging them. Remember, I had the game loaded, I got the software up, I could grab my headphones, realized they were dead, plugged them in, knew I needed to let them charge. I let them charge a little bit, and then try getting this done. I don't remember what happened. Well, happens when you're tired, I guess. Emotional bullshit. Just had gotten off work. Yeah. Deal with all that, so I'm pretty tired. Nah, I need to sleep, I guess. Still do at the moment. Just got done walking home. Walking three miles in the rain at midnight. Ooh, Don't do that. Okay, stop. Wait. You know, I have such a kid right there. Yeah, look. Really sucked about walking home in the rain at midnight. It's the whole fact of it raining and me trying to have my coat on. That I wouldn't be so damn wet by the time I got home. The issue with that was, had my coat on, I started sweating my ass off. Pissed me off. What the hell? Kind of bullshit, you gonna tell me I try to stay dry by putting on the coat, and I burn the fuck up having the damn coat. On top of that, I was trying to carry a drink carrier with four of those 30 ounce cups, because I bring those home for dad and me one. And apparently, the uh, cup holders we have at McDonald's. You get them a little bit wet, they become useless. I had two of them stuck together. And it just kind of melted in my hands halfway home. So, yeah, that was a thing. I ended up putting two of them in the side uh, holders in my backpack, carrying the other two. But, okay. Anyways, we got that other watchtower done that really did show us shit. But greatest watchtower ever right there. Well, whatever these things are. I'm not sure what exactly that is. I'm used to contracts and like these things, but they put a flag. I don't know what they put a flag for. I have to get to one of those and figure that out. But like I said earlier, main thing, we need to get to these other two watchtowers. There's a log station. Then we need to get to Island Lake, get that discovered, but we need to get this bridge fixed. Which I'm not sure which one would 
do that is well, there's no contract around it. So I think we'll go ahead and in the next one get this. Oh, yeah, we'll try to get this bridge fixed up so we can get up and see whatever that is. Apparently those oil bills are the things we need to find. We do have that upgrade, but that's down there, so I'm gonna wanna get the scout truck back up there to get that done. And then I'll see what one of these two are. Maybe the Forge by the Sea is that one? Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. So, for now guys, we're gonna call it quits. I hope y'all have enjoyed. And mostly right now I'm gonna just call this me talking shit out with myself. You guys can listen to me ramble on. Hope y'all don't mind. But, we're out of here for today. So, I'll see you in the next one. Let us.